Well. Well, welcome back to the channel, folks. Shut up, hold on, drivers. Start your engine! We find ourselves in a new week of iRacing. We skipped a week because of not knowing the circuit. We find ourselves at Alton Park. I've also been promoted to C. And that brings me to quite a good place. I've got a, a pretty crap high rating in high racing. So that's what the point of this is now, is maintaining a decent safety rating and then get to... V6, the air temp is 26 Celsius. Okay, Jim, get ready. Go! Side's clear. Sweet start, mate. Keep it coming. We've got ten laps of this. Right side's clear. Oh, don't panic. Just left side. Clear 
your left, P5. The guy ahead's lap time is at 155.47. Your lap time was 157.70. Right, Jim, we've gone out of track limits. Keep it between the lines. at 154.87. them to find the gap. They're faster than us in two. Lodge. rammed in the anus I had to re-enter like that so I'd just like to rewind the, the actual footage back to the point of ex exiting the chicane and just looking at the position that we're in there we are a full car length ahead of the car behind us and we're going to progress up the straight here following the racing line and you'll see as I hit the braking point I aim for the apex because I'm going to close the door down on him and by closing the door down on him I'm going to deny him the right to take that exit I'm I'm expecting the dive bomb but I'm going to try and put him off by closing the door I'm just going to very quickly just rewind that and I've started braking and so has he so we're braking at exactly the same point and he actually nerfs me off and you can see at the point he's nerfed me off, I'm out of control, leaving the circuit. I've actually still out of control, and I'm heading back to the circuit. I just don't want to hit those tyres. I've come back on the circuit and caught the slide. So, the dude in the orange car that comes past me, bearing in mind there should be a yellow flag flying now, and overtaking his band on a flying yellow flag, He's actually overtook me during a caution, but we will, we'll let that pass. So, Prince here in whatever his name is, Prince and in the green car, you're a dick. 
Orange dude, you've got yours coming. Ask the guy in front of you to give his place up. And the same sarcastic comment to you, my friend. Six has gone off in DLE, yellow flag, caution. B6. And with that being said at this point, you can see the orange guy ahead. Him and his relatively sarcastic comment about my entry, my re-entry. I give him some back at this point, and he deserved it. However, as we come up here on the left-hand side of the track, we will see, I think, positions three and position two of the circuit. So here we are coming down to the final turn. You can see the two cars in front. That might be a lap car, that orange one on the left-hand side, maybe. Maybe it's the guy in the black. He's closing them off. He pulls alongside him. Oh, no. No, that's, that is that is definitely an iRacing takeout. He's broke his wheel. He's going nowhere. And that, I believe, is a revenge takeout. That's half distance, fuel levels are fine, P4. That last lap was at 156.50. That's your fastest lap today. Carla, clear left. Incident in Shell Oil's corner. It looks like Elliot. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate.
front is now 1.0 seconds. You're looking really good. Come on, keep your focus. P3, that was a 157.11. Time was 156.62. Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. You've just done a 156.52.
Clear left, left side, clear left. And that's on Sean Clay, my friend. Looks like people so here we are, folks, very much similar to the position we're in when the guy in front took me out. We're about one, one and a half car lengths behind. We're going to progress down to the chicane. He is faster than me. I've actually been chasing him for four or five laps, and I think he's overdriven the car. I think his tyres are done. So when he comes into these corners, his front end's going to wash out, and it has been for the last three or four corners. So let's see. There's the braking point. I always try and brake on the 100. I've braked slightly early. As you can see, no brake lights yet. He hasn't actually hit the brakes. There he is. He's actually doing what I did. He's gone for the apex. He's gone to close the door. But not through any other reason. He's going too quick. He's braked too late. He's missed the apex of the same corner. And he's given me the chance to go on the run in him. I could actually go left, but I choose to go right, the tight side of the next corner, because I know all he has to do is run me out, and I'm off the circuit and done. So at this point, I'm thinking if I'm going inside corner, I've got the apex. The only where place I'm going is probably into the gravel pit if he knocks me off. Now at this point, I'm halfway along. He's aiming for the apex, he's going to close me out. Now it's up to you to decide whether you think I'm in the wrong there. But as I see it, as I see it at that point, he actually knows I'm there. He knows I'm fully there. And he should have left me room. In my opinion, leave a comment. There it is, on the way. Four has gone off in Nickerbrook. Okay, Jim, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. B2. Short is gaining on you. The gap is now 0 0.40. Chris, if you get in a position to pass me clean, you can have it. There's an incident in Old Hall. Keep doing this, Jim. Great drive. That's a podium. Just to close out the video, um, I think I did all right.
P2 in a race where I qualified P5-6. Uh, had to let a couple of cars pass me because they were much quicker. But then I came up against what you would consider to be potentially the understanding that racing in rookies, D-class, C-class, and potentially B-class, you ain't going to find much better racing. There is a general element of rubbing is racing, wrecking is racing. We've seen everything in that race. And if you think iRacing is a clean place to come and race, it generally isn't. The guidance that I've read, the guidance that I've seen says the longer you get into the game, the more you establish a true rating. And if you're clean, you'll stay in safe racing. But the bit that lets that down, and it's my understanding, the way the tiers are set, you get selected against where you are, roughly on percentage, with an average of people, not necessarily the same as you, but from the ranks. So, oh mate, you there. He's a, I think he might have been a D. He might have even been a rookie, but he was quicker than me. But his safety rating's pants. And I race to enjoy it. I race to win. But I won't win by crashing people off the track. Unless it's a case of me getting what I would consider to be retribution. Did I actually take him off the track at that corner after he made a mistake mm, i put myself in a position where he had to choose and he chose what i expected to happen if i was on the outside he made the mistake he hit me i capitalized on his mistake when he missed the apex and i chose potentially it's, it's a bit like the lewis hamilton max situation at silverstone lewis put him on the inside put himself on the inside of the apex max cut violently across the apex and i fell out with people on this point i'm on the track and i have every right to be there you have every might right to take the corner if you can make it and that's my viewpoint on both the silverstone incident with max and my point on this race here each way it's up to you how you feel about it you can leave a comment now saying that i'm putting lots of effort in to try and make entertaining videos i need a little something back folks i really would like a like i really would like a subscribe if you like what i'm doing if my videos aren't getting out there i get it people aren't seeing them and i'm probably wasting my time I'm not giving up i'm persevering i'm trying to make interesting content and i'm trying to share with you what i do so if you are watching if you've got 25 minutes into the video watching the racing and you think it's something worthwhile please click like please subscribe please share the video it would please me greatly thank you very much folks take care we'll see you on the next one